Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and we're playing Evolved Custom Scenarios. We're gonna do one more this week, one more for the series, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of time to work on exclusively the official scenarios, and then once that's done, we'll come back to the, the uh, custom scenarios. So don't you guys worry, it's only gonna be temporary, but I do want to get those official scenarios out of the way. But the one that I did see requested is Skeletal Consumption, and lo and behold, it's made it onto the popular tab. A parasite has evolved to latch onto human hosts and enter by mouth. The parasite has a fascinating appetite for bones. Will you turn humanity into lifeless blobs of skin and blood? Blech. You can only imagine what that's going to look like. Features, a full set of custom symptoms, many custom abilities and transmissions, and death! Because all the other symptoms don't kill people. Just this one. <laughs> Apparently this is the guy's first scenario. Uh, some stuff about organization. If there's a symptom that appears to have no infectivity, do not worry. All symptoms provide infectivity in some way. Well, they don't have to, you know. It's actually totally okay if you don't want a uh, symptom to provide any infectivity, as long as it does something to justify its existence. But all right. The parasite avoids detection by burrowing in the marrow and feeding off the blood cells it produces. I'm sorry, I thought you were saying that the, uh, the, this parasite will turn us into a heaps of, uh, of, of, fle of flesh and blood. But here now you're saying it actually does eat the blood. So are we just gonna be blobs of flesh? How's that work? I'm sensing a little bit of contradiction here, but let's go back to Saudi Arabia. All right. So to start off with transmission, we have saliva one. Parasite spreads within saliva to spread into the bones. More efficiently in the saliva, infect infection by kissing. Uh, zoonotic shift for cross-species infection. Blood, and this appears to be the standard description for the poor regions, plus mutation chance, okay. Symptoms, we start off with bone consumption. Par parasite chews on outer bone layers, does not cause broken bones. So presumably not a lot of severity there. Bone burrowing, parasite burrows through the bone to the marrow. Increases infectivity because of eggs, and increases severity. Okay, how, how, how do we detect the eggs? How does that make it more severe? Parasitic jump. Parasite learns to jump from one human to the next. Minor tongue pain when doing so. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I, I, I saw in the description that it, it needs to go through the mouth or something like that, right? But does this mean that I can be just having a casual conversation with someone and a little, a little worm just kind of springboards off my tongue into someone else's mouth with incredible aim? Uh, could be. Or is this supposed to be more of a kissing thing? which is in Saliva 2. What this might actually tell you is never French kiss anybody. You never know when you're spreading horrible parasites. <laughs> Abilities, actually got a lot of things here. Cold resistance, heat resistance, drug resistance. Hazard suit one, parasite chews through hazard suits. Increase in plague efficiency, a boost to all types of country. Really, you're talking about just like climate or you mean like rich, poor, rural, urban, the works? If so, that's actually really powerful. I want to grab some of that. Computer consumption one. Parasite chews up electronics, forcing the patient to go outside. Oh, I see. You're trying to make some sort of allusion to the fact that I'm here on YouTube and all my, walk my viewers are using their electronic devices and they should just drop this and go outside and get a life? You're not my mom, you can't make me. Even with your thin thinly veiled criticisms, I don't know. Increases infectivity and slows a cure. This is mutations one, cause more mutations, and enhance jaws. Parasite's jaws become stronger, allowing the parasite to eat away at bone quicker. Decreases future research seed speed slightly and increases severity slightly. So a lot of different ways to try and combat the cure. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start with some transmission. Let's go for saliva two. This is saliva three. Becomes even more efficient apparently, especially in the urban areas. Okay. We could go over some uh, zoonotic shift, which is not so bad. That unlocks the insects, birds, rodents, and dogs. Actually interesting, dogs are not rural, they're urban in this one. So we have two urban spreads? Huh. Usually you get some rural in there at some point, but okay. I guess it's not a big deal, it's probably fine. So I'm not seeing any air or water transmission. I guess we're gonna go with birds to start us off. I mean, the alternative of course is to go for insects. Insects are pretty good in the hot climates. But typically by starting in Saudi Arabia, I would want to go for some air transmission and that does not appear to be an option for us. We will grab saliva three and see if it leads to anything because I'm seeing a lot of hidden stuff could be useful. Bur bone burrowing mutated for free. Some lock saliva four and urine one. Parasite infiltrates the kidneys and lays eggs in them. Increase in infectivity, especially in the poor countries. Because the poor have a habit of just peeing all over the place, right? Is that what you're trying to imply? You judgmental bastard, you. 
Um, we will grab urine. I'm I'm very curious if there is going to be some sort of air or water transmission. Nope, just urine too. All right, we're not going to bother with those anymore. Probably going to focus on some more zoonotic shift stuff. Uh, maybe more birds would be useful. Perhaps um, insects could be good. Rodents maybe for the urban areas. Let's go for bird two. Oh, there is air. Gives pathogen ability to travel on dust particles. How does that work? How does the parasite travel in the air? How does it fly? Nobody knows. We have access to air now if I want it. System consumption. You know, it seems to me like I actually have a pretty reasonable mutation ch uh, chance already. I don't see any reason to go for mutations one. Might be a little bit too aggressive there. I do think we need some drug resistance, though. Because right now, having a little bit of trouble. Um, well, not a little bit of trouble. We're just getting into the wealthy countries. We'll make sure we're doing well there. Let's go for some cold resistance as well. Um, so, we did mutate a few symptoms here. Do you want to go for more transmission first? Could go for the air, and that would certainly help get us around by airport. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Air is quite good. There's a lot of transmissions here, and a lot of things gated behind each other. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering if it's a little overdone. I mean, realistically, the costs are high enough, you're going to get through maybe half of these in a typical playthrough. So I'm kind of wondering if there might actually be a little bit too much going on here. Maybe get rid of the air stuff. I do kind of wonder if urine 2 now leads to water right here. And that'll be probably extreme bio aerosol right there, right? Yeah, I would just get rid of them, honestly. Um, but I, if you're going to do that, then I would highly recommend getting rid of the event if it's possible. I think you can. Getting rid of the event where uh, ships use like water sterilization or airplanes use air filters to make sure that doesn't come back to haunt you. So do we want to go for muscle consumption? Wait a minute, they're slow they're consuming muscle now. And tendons and ligaments. What? I thought this thing only eats bones. That was like the entire premise of the scenario. Well now apparently they eat a lot more. Let's go for some more drug resistance. Marrow consumption, still going along with that mutation chance. Alright, let's go for some hazmat suits and see if that boosts my infectivity in a lot of places. Probably will a little bit. Uh, I would like to get some more cold resistance, certainly. And okay, see, yeah, actually there it is right there. Ships using sterilizing cleaning techniques. Huh, if that is the case, then I need to get some water transmission. There it is. If I do not get this, then I'm not going to be able to get to the islands. We need this now. Yeah, I would say that's actually um, that's actually an oversight. That probably should be corrected. It's going to cost 26 DNA now for that to work. Oh, that's going to be painful. Alright, well, here's hoping we hit critical mass in places like China soon. Muscle consumption. And in the meantime, we're still mutating stuff. Having been placed on the watch list, that's fun. But yeah, we're still cons we're still um, getting mutations. Might even get some lethality, in which case we're kind of screwed. But let's get that water going. Spongy bone consumption. We're consuming everything now. Holy crap! Do we can we get onto boats now? Wait a minute. No. Can we can we get onto a boat though? I didn't get the pop up. I didn't get the pop up saying you can now get infected on boats. Hey now. Hey now. That's kind of important. Don't tell me I have to go for Water 2 to make that work. I need Lethality, otherwise I'm not going to win at this point. But we're never going to get into Greenland. Although, Greenland... You know what? I take that back. Greenland does have an airport in this scenario, for whatever reason. Bone breeding. Okay, we're getting too many mutations here. A little bit too much for my taste. What's this? Blood allowance. Consumes fewer red blood cells in the marrow. Decreases detection chance. Well, at this point, I think that might be a little bit too late. Let's go for some more cold resistance, because we're having trouble in places like Russia. Really need to see a plane get over to Greenland, and... I've never tried... I've never tried, um, creating a scenario and putting a new airport somewhere, but do you have to hook it up to certain countries? If that's the case, because I have not seen a single plane go into Greenland yet. I, I literally have not seen a single plane go to Greenland. You may have put an airport there, and it doesn't actually do anything. Um, yeah, we're screwed right now, because I can't get enough DNA. We need to start getting some lethality. We haven't gotten into New Guinea. We haven't gotten to the Philippines. I need the water transmission, or else we're done for. It's that simple. Oh, bullcrap. All right. CDC, patient, zero, stuff like that. Uh, we need how many points? 33? Right. Yeah, I don't see this happening. Um, unless we get a lot of mutations, start killing fast. But even then, they're going to close down their ports. All right, I need to restart this scenario. I'm going to work myself up about to the same point, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm roughly where I was before. Uh, this time I got the air sterilization filters, and I had to mutate along the air route in order to fix that. But now I know, so I was able to make better use of my DNA. 
And I haven't really changed much else here. Have not gone for pretty much any symptoms at all. This is almost exclusively mutations thus far. So we're getting quite a few of those. We did get cartilage consumption. We have grinding. Parasite causes the teeth to grind by consuming the cartilage in the jaw. Uh, and then we have tooth consumption, which I guess is a bone, so I guess it makes some sense. Choose on teeth while the mouth is closed. Increase in infectivity due to an easier jump, because if they have no teeth... I don't know how that works. They can still close their lips, but whatever. Osteoporosis. Eats at smooth bones. Sounds good. Tripping. Parasite eats away at feet, causing people to fall a lot. Increases in severity and lethality due to osteoporosis. Kind of building upon what we had before. You know what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for some mutation chance. Screw it. I don't think we're going to get enough DNA in order to get a ton of lethality at this point. I think we just need to go for more mutations and kind of let them take us the rest of the way. We're getting a lot of mutations thus far. I need lethality. Oh, come on. Now you're not getting anything? There we go. Bone breeding. Okay, that's something. How much for the next level? Uh, actually, we need to work on the cure. The scenario is not incredibly well balanced right now, and it's mostly because of those sterilization things. Um, so I could slow down the cure here, or decrease his future research speed slightly. It's not going to be enough, is it? Hmm, bone recycling, system consumption. I'm kind of worried if we... Do we want to go for computer consumption, or do we want to slow down the cure? Genetic reshuffles, I kind of feel like we need them, because we don't have the pathostasis. Let's go for computer consumption. It does reset things slightly, but not a ton. Okay. I really should have gone for the pathostasis, but I had no idea. Tripping mutated, so that's going to kill a little bit, but there, there's just not enough lethality here. I mean, look at this. Look how far we are down the tree, and we're, we have, like, no lethality to speak of. And I had to go through this many transmissions, which were fairly expensive, just to shut down an event. Like, I really wouldn't have gotten this many transmissions. I wouldn't have followed this path if I hadn't specifically gotten the air sterilization event. Which we, I, I really feel like ought to be just removed from the scenario. Drug resistance 3? Nah. We need to save up our DNA and try to get a genetic reshuffle. No healthy people left in the world. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't know. We've got practically no lethality to speak of here. Um, once they reach the cure, maybe we'll get a boost in DNA here. Uh, no. No, we will not. Alright. Well, reset this one again, and let's see if we don't get one of those filters this time. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to try this again. We're going to go back to um, uh, using the pathostasis and see if we do any better. Alright, looks like I'm finally going to be able to beat this scenario. This took actually a couple more attempts here, um, and what I changed up that really solved the problem, beyond going for the pathostasis so I can get some more um, uh, redu reduction in the cure progress and some more mutations and stuff like that, what really solved the issue for me was switching to catalytic switch instead of the ATP boost. Because what I'm finding in this particular scenario is the author wanted to create so many symptoms that he didn't want to give any particular symptom too much lethality. Which means at this point in the game, you know, we still haven't even got halfway up the lethality bar. And anytime that happens, it means that the AI is going to start working on the cure very early on, and it's going to be a very dragged out scenario, long cure time, and in that case, getting DNA out of these blue bubbles, like so, actually is what's going to save you. So, uh, going for the catalytic switch kind of makes up for what I would say is a bit of an imbalance in this scenario. Um, hate to be too critical, but uh, yeah, I, I would say there's a bit of an imbalancing here, and mostly because it's a rare situation where I think the author is trying to do too much, right? I don't mind that it's a little, that, you know, the organization of it. That's not an issue to me, but there's tr transmissions. I mean, first off, okay, my recommendations make the scenario better. Get rid of the event for ship and uh, plane sterilization techniques, and just get rid of the air and water transmissions so that they're not an issue. Right, you want to get rid of those events because I've, happened to, I've had it happen to me now three times. You don't want that to ruin things, but otherwise, these don't really serve any purpose, so get rid of them. Reduce the cost slightly of a lot of the transmissions as well, so they're more accessible. For abilities, this is actually pretty much okay, I think. I'm not sure there's much point to the hazmat suits or the electrical consumption beyond the norm, but it's okay. That's not so bad. But for symptoms, I think there needs to be a few less. I'd get rid of at least six on this list. At least. And therefore, and also um, raise up the lethality of the existing symptoms at least a little bit. Like skin feeding, highly lethal, 
it only gave me like another, I don't know, it looked like about a 5% boost to lethality. I would expect it to be way higher than that at this point in the game. Yes, I figured out a way to beat it, okay, no doubt about that. But, uh, it took me several attempts on normal difficulty, and you have to have catalytic switch, I think. Otherwise, I just ran out of steam. I ran out of all my DNA. I don't mind the scenario being a little bit tricky, but I, I would say that this just could use a little bit of rebalancing. That's my personal belief. It is a pretty cool scenario, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I do like it. However, it, 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 it's just it's just too slow to kind of get that ball rolling when it comes to lethality. And mutations are very sporadic, honestly. I'm kind of surprised by it. It seems that the more of these mutation things I get, the less mutations I actually got. Seemed like I got a lot more in the early game, and going for more zoonotic stuff ended up fixing that problem for me than actually going for mutation stuff down here. So I would actually make these a little bit more potent. If I'm going to focus on getting a lot of mutations and try to work through this many symptoms without catalytic switch, then I need these mutations to actually be very potent. Otherwise, I think I might be in a little bit of trouble. So I don't know. There's a little bit of room for improvement. It is a pretty cool scenario, don't get me wrong. Um, the theme needs to be kind of uh, tightened up a little bit. If this is going to be a parasite that feeds on the bones, I expect it to feed primarily on bones. But it turns into eating all of your skin, your blood, your mu your muscles and stuff as well. I mean, you, you kind of have to pick a theme a little bit on this one. Yeah, only one star because it took 718 days. That's what I'm talking about. A scenario shouldn't take that long. So what that means to me is that it just takes too long to ramp up to the lethality, and that's just because I think the author was trying to do too much, and as a result, he didn't want any lethality trait to be too strong. He wanted you to have to get a lot of them, otherwise, what's the point of having that much content, right? And I understand that, I really do. But it, it's again, it's just one of those rare scenarios where I think that there's too much content, and it needs to be a bit more streamlined so it makes more sense, and it's got a better balance as a result. That's my personal belief. Otherwise, pretty cool start to a good scenario. Uh, room for improvement, but otherwise not half bad. Yes, I will recommend it, but if you're gonna play it yourself, please go for the, the catalytic switch. Just do it. Go for the catalytic switch. Go for the pathostasis. You could do symptostasis, but I think patho is more effective. And that's where I'm going to end this video. So remember, going forward, I am going to be doing just official scenarios for the next couple of weeks until I finish off that list. That way I can stop uploading these things on Saturday. After that, though, if you guys want me to go back to custom scenarios, I am totally open to doing so. Just let me know in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.